Crochet Creations and a new month of Jimmy Beans subscription comes in a bag now with some uh, with labels that you can cut out on the outside of the bag and it's heavy cardboard like bag all right so I'm gonna oh this is the accessory club I thought I had signed up for the Malabrigo um, and I think what they they sent me a message or something that said that the Malabrigo was going to be at the end of the month so I think that's when it is okay so the printer's not working at the moment I think because the power was out yada yada you know how it is so this month we have cotton I believe so let's see we got this open finally I think this is oh stone wash sheep cheese okay look at this it's soft it's pretty soft but it's um, this one is even softer Wow it's cuz it's stone washed it's probably what it is that's a little bit different color there. And then we have a blue. So there's five of these in there. Nothing else. Okay. So we've got a, a blue color. The softest is this gold. And this is 78% uh, cotton, 22% acrylic. It's a sport weight. I agree. It is uh, blue appetite. So it's there's a marl going on there. Stone wash, so it's wash. Whitewashed or whatever you want to. This is nice. I remember having some minis of some of this stone wash. Um it was it was from Jimmy Beans before too, pretty sure. It came with these little wrappers, little tiny wrappers like this. Okay, and this color is called Axonite. How much in a skein, you say? attack <laughs> just saying uh, you just keep wor working it around until you might run into it oh here it is 50 grams 130 meters <laughs> I just learned how to do this today that's the first time ever right oh my goodness all right so this one is like I said that's an that's a very off white like sand this one is called ja yellow jasper I just love that oh and they have a start easy pull on them oh my goodness keep looking you find all kinds of new stuff <laughs> 
and then we have this one which is moonstone okay so the pattern this month is a metered box bag okay so you do squares in the metered so the small L shape like the log cabin pattern it's a metered square you have a knit pattern and a crochet pattern for a bag with a handle it's not a very skinny handle either it's very nicely made and there's supposed to be enough here to make the whole bag wow that's nice I was going to print this pattern out at work and I forgot and then I get home and because of the outages we've had a lot of times I have to re talk to the in the printer which is on Wi-Fi and it's a pain and I didn't do that and so I can't print it but anyway you use all the colors to make the squares and then it comes out striped squares. I think I really like the the pattern. It's nice. I don't make a lot of things in cotton, but um, that is nice. Be interesting to make make this. I guess I could do some of this. Wow, I could actually do some of this on. Well, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. But that's that's a nice. It's a nice club. All right, so today is the day that I threw a post on my Facebook group, and it said something about, what well, if you know, you know. And then it was a half of a hat, knitted hat. And I got all of you stumped. You're all thinking, what, is she crazy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and show that hat now and uh, talk about it right now. <laughs> so here's the bag that it was sitting in and here's the yarn sticking out of the bag. Look at that halo! Okay. And here's the hat. Um, this is 68 stitches on um, 9 millimeter. I, I believe no nine US nine that's what it is US nine so that's like a 5.5 or a 6 millimeter I don't know anyway so it's almost done what happened here is you ready <laughs> I asked can you tell what kind of yarn it is and nobody said anything yet they, they said things like, I forgot this, I forgot that. No, there's nothing wrong with this. It's no mistakes, thank goodness. I even weaved in my end already. No, what it was is that this is Hobby Lobby clearance. Oh, yeah, you guessed it. It is Alpaca Twist. Somebody sent me some alpaca twist they went to their hobby lobby and got it for me and that's what happened and i was so excited i ripped one right out of the box and cast on a hat that fast that's what was funny about it and nobody figured it out because they weren't thinking about what yarn it was so here it is here it is yeah, look at that halo. I'm telling you, this is super, super duper soft. And it's funny because I thought it was a five because I had never bought any. It isn't. It's a four. 90% acrylic, 10% alpaca. You can wash this. Somewhere on this label, again, let's turn the label a hundred times until we can see something pop out at us that we're looking for, right? It's right here. It says wash and dry. No problem. Wash and dry. And it says to use an, a size 9, which is why I use the size 9. So I, I, you know, this was 175 yards. Enough for a hat. No problem. 
a dollar twenty four on clearance so <laughs> this color is called open waters and I am lucky enough to have friends here that have included me in their Hobby Lobby haul in the past also so I'm going to show you the colors that I got and joy the colors so this one is a green this one is called hmm, kale look at that halo <laughs> this is another green this one's called sage isn't it gorgeous they go together really well they really do <laughs> This one is white. It's called Lace Doilies. It's not just white, it's Lace Doilies. <laughs> love, love it. This one is called Accru. Yeah, it is beautiful. Here is another, it's the same color, it's uh, Open Waters. I pulled one of each one out that she sent. Some she only sent one, but um, this one's called Charcoal. Every single one of these needs to be a hat, right? This one is a blush. Gorgeous. Softest. Mm-hmm. This one is called spice love it and I will I really want to do is I want to do a hat and a cowl in every single color now that I've tried it and I really like it if I have two of each color I will make a hat and cowl that would be great I don't know how long it'll take me tobacco so this is a gold color matches my jacket and it works up so nice so nice and smooth it, it's this is the kind of yarn that I like to make hats with or to knit with because it makes a material that is very I don't know I, I, I don't know how to explain how I why I like it so much because of the material I guess and this is great for winter and we need hats and cowls against the wind and the dampness in the winter and that's why I want to make make a bunch of these so that is the story of the Facebook group <laughs> And so anyway, nobody got it. That's okay. You might see some of this appear in hats, hats, and more hats in the future. But uh, for now, um, I will be signing off. Have a wonderful afternoon or evening, I should say. Because, well, whenever you're watching it, have a great day. <laughs> Take a moment out of each day, be creative, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.